I hope this is recording this fucking time, I swear to god. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so, what's going on guys, it's Bear. What's going on guys, it's my phone vibrating, but what's going on guys, it's Bear, and today I'm bringing you guys a ultimate glitch effect thingy. So this is what it looks like, the final product, so it has like the actual logo glitched out, then a little CC lens thing around it. But, we're gonna open Photoshop and get right into it. And I was doing it before, but I guess it wasn't recording my voice. So that's really annoying. So what I did is, is I'm centering the logo. And then I'll just get rid of my rulers. Oh. And then I will add a golden uh, layer style to it. You can use a logo or text, doesn't really matter. Make a new layer and then merge those two. So it's just like a layer. And then... You don't copy it, just have it, and then you're going to take the rectangle tool, and it's going to be two squares, and then you're just going to go like this. Just click around everywhere. And then you're going to go three to the right, and then click the square, click the one square, and then click back to the two. And go like that. And then go three to the left. Click it again, go back. And we're gonna go two up, and then what are you doing? Two down. Oh my! Actually, go three up. I don't need to go down. So you have that, and we're gonna just, just duplicate it. Go to filter, displace. Or dis filter, distort, displace, and put the horizontal to 5, vertical to 7, displacement 1, and then you'll get this. If you guys don't know what displacement is, it's how to do it. I have a tutorial on that, it will be in the description. So please check that out because it's going to help you a lot. And if there's any erased part of this, I have on 54 and a harness is 0, but you can have any size and hardness, it's all what you want. So you have that and merge these two. And make uh, two copies. Go to the middle one. You go to image adjustments curves. Go to red. Put the output to zero. Input to 251. And you go to the bottom one. Go to curves. Green. Put the output to zero. And then input to 251. Then go to blue. Output to zero. Input to 251. So, yeah, hold up. Alright, sorry about that. Someone's walking up the stairs and I didn't want to, like, bother my mic. So now you have these two. This one's the red one on 0, 251, and this is the green and blue. So you're going to click the bottom of the green and blue one, go right three times, and then click the green one and go left twice. And just merge these. And then you're going to duplicate it. And then you're going to add a afterglow thingy. Basically what this is, is a stroke, an inner stroke on a opacity, like a low opacity, and it has like a white inner glow. But it's in my pack as well. And then you're just going to add that on and merge these layers. Reduplicate it. Go to distort. Actually, what we're going to do is go to edit, transform, perspective, and aim this down, and this one back. And then we'll duplicate it. And then go to filter, uh, stylize wind. Wait, do I want to do that yet? Yes. Now, go to filter, distort, ripple, and then put a ripple amount all the way to like 300 and something. And then just erase most of it, except for like a little bit. So you save a little bit and just duplicate these layers. Then go to filter, this stylize, wind, put it on stagger from right to left or left to right. I'm going from right to left. And what I'm gonna do is just gonna glitch this out. And then we're just gonna erase part of it. So just really glitched out right now. You merge these two. 
and duplicate them. And what else can we do? I did another thing, I forget what it was. Alright, that's the thing, that's actually what I did. Oh yeah, the CC ones, totally forgot about that. Um, merge these two layers. Get rid of all that other stuff around the, the outside. Duplicate it. And then make one bigger, put in the background. You can center this if you want, doesn't really need to be. You can just turn it. And then lower the opacity to about 20s, so put it to like 20. Alright, and then what we're gonna do is just go to File, Save As. I, don't, I never use actually File Save, I use File Save As. And you can just send it, click save it to somewhere. I'm gonna save it to my logo port because my desktop is filled. Alright. And then we're gonna go to After Effects and import it. So. Logo pour, I had it too. And then we're gonna just drag this in. Make sure it's on full. Type in CC lens and just drag that on. And then we can start to mess with the size. So we can make it really weird. So it's just like a little bend in it. But I wanna make it so it's coming apart. that and then what I'm gonna do is go to composition composition settings and put everything to zero so it'll be zero 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 one and then composition add to render queue lossless and put it to PNG sequence and then you can just save it to wherever I'm gonna save it to my logo render go to Open, open that back up, and then what you can do is open a new file of 500x500 and drag this in, and obviously make it smaller. Let me find the middle of this. It'd be like that, and what you could do is take a eraser and make it bigger, about like 300. Oops, and erase. Make this background black. I always use black black backgrounds unless you're making like white things, but always have black backgrounds and just erase. Like the hard edges, and then you guys can go from there. Let's just say that. You just have that and put like a little stroke on it, like that one I use. Oops. Uh, make a new layer, merge them, and just. What did I do? Hmm. Let's add that back. have that and then you guys can just add other stuff uh, it's up to you well else you can do is take a brush and put it to a size like let's just say 70 on white and hold shift go down one edge hold shift and then lower the opacity as well and what you would do from there is take an eraser and click just in a couple spots and then you have a cool glitched out little AVI thing, so it took like nine minutes, not that bad. So, um, what to talk about? Um, sorry for not uploading consistently, uh, it's only been a week, but I have lacrosse, and it's just hard, because I get home at six, and I like take a shower and do whatever else, and then I don't really get to my computer until like seven, eight, and then... I have to do some like like work stuff for designing. I still have people's orders to do from like a week ago, and I talk to them about it all the time. 
But um, that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It's really easy to do and really simple, and it looks really nice in banners and also AVIs, as you can see. Uh, this is for like kind of glitching out people. I like people that make glitch banners, and this is probably a good tutorial for them. But yeah, other than that, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for... Let's just say 1,280 subs. <laughs> Pretty beast. But um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any tutorial suggestions, there's a form below. Uh, excuse me. And uh, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please check out my self -I. I'll be leaving an exclusive pack in there. Probably in the next couple weeks or so, so check out for that and follow me on Twitter for more updates. So peace out guys.